prayer, right? It's not part of Islam. They have what we call bid'a. It is bid'a. <laughs> the scholars keep saying bid'a, bid'a, meaning invention or innovation, right? It's an innovation. It's not part of Islam. If any scholar watching me, if they say Salat al-Eid or Salat al-Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha is part of Islam, they should come and open the Quran and show us, right? And if they say the Prophet, after of their foolishness, uh, they say the Prophet went to the sky to bring five prayers. So ask, ask their, their, out of their foolishness, ask them the five prayers the Prophet went to bring. So this Salat al-Eid, was it part of it? Do they have Salat al-Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha? Were they part of the five Salat he went to bring? If the answer is no, why, 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 why? I can't think far. Why worry yourself? to do something which is not part of the contract your boss has given you. Hello? If I'm a worker and the boss gives me a contract and a sign, and he says, this is what you have to do. And he says, I give you five duties to do. And out of the five duties, I will just be there and somebody out of nowhere, an imposter will just come and say, hey, you have to do seven duties. If you don't do, we are not going to pay you. Hey, hello? When I was signing the contract with the boss, where were you? Where were you when they said the prophet went to negotiate 50, 25, and it became five salats? Oh, five salats. So you forgot. The scholars are telling you this prophet went to negotiate five salats, and now you are doing more than five? Huh? You have salat al janaza. Who gave it to you? Where does it come from? Oh, oh. you have salat al eid al fitr, salat al eid al adha, salat al whatever, whatever. They keep inventing the salat for you. You just keep following them. Look. If you do such salat, you are a mushrik. It's simple. What is a mushrik? Somebody who associates partners with God. Because it is God giving legislation in the deen, right? He asks you a simple question. Quran chapter 42, verse 21. Do they have idols who give them legislation of a religion to which God has not authorized? So if you have Islam, who is supposed to give you legislation? Is it not Allah? So if Allah is giving us legislation in Islam and you don't see salat al-Eid, you don't see Salat al-Eid al-Fitr, Salat al-Eid al-Adha, and you are doing it. Hello? Who gave it to you? Out of their hypocrisy, the scholars will tell you, oh, I want a nafila, and he's just a nafila. Are you a fool? Why will you do a nafila God never asked you to do? Who is going to pay you? Stop wasting your time and focus on what God asked you to do. Somebody was asking me, the Arafah, they told us when they are climbing the Arafah, we should fast. You should fast. Who and who told you? God, come and open the Quran and show me where God says, if people are climbing the Arafah, Arafa, you should come and fast. Why don't you study? Ask the necessary questions. Ask your imams the questions in the mosque. They are fooling you. Their paymasters have paid them to lie to you. They don't teach you the book. You understand? Uh -huh. So me, I'm doing a favor. I'm here to teach the people to wake up. You think I'm the enemy? Keep fooling yourselves.